So I'm here standing next to Lanka Pagoda, the most popular pagoda here in Phnom Penh, in front of the Independence Monument. As you can see, it's really crazy that I could make it here because it's 4 a.m. in the morning. And actually, my condominium apartment complex is locked until half past five. So it's really crazy that I could make it here on time. And I'm going to show you the ceremony. I have no idea, it's my first time doing this. So let's see what's gonna happen. I'm going to show you about one of ceremony that happen in every day uh, among uh, 15 days of the ceremony. Uh, we call it in my is Bok Bai Ben. Bok Bai Ben. Bok it means flow, Bai it means rice, and Ben is the name of the ceremony. So Bok Bai Ben means through the rice bowl. Yeah. And then we dedicated uh, the rice bowl to the spirit that without relative come to uh, dedicate to them. Like that. And uh, in, in every pagoda, uh, for example in the countryside, people who prepare it by themselves in the evening at night time and then uh, they in the early morning they wake up and then they come to the pagoda. In contrast, in the city, most people are busy. And then uh, people here are good at making business. So you can find out that in front of the gate of the pagoda, there are a rice bowl and with flowers. So everything is very uh, easy and accessible. Yeah. So people just come uh, and then they can buy and a very reasonable price. So now I would like to show you. Let's go. This is the special sticky rice and uh, fruits as you can see here we have uh, men's best friend also keeping company and it's still dark here in front of the uh, pagoda here Lanka pagoda all ladies selling flowers Okay. Oh, smell yeah, amazing. Wow. That is jasmine flower. And this one is um green flower. Wow. Yeah, so beautiful. Yeah. You want to get one? Get <laughs> it for free. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. My yeah. Um okay everyone, so now I would like to show you about uh the big the big amount of money. So you can see how much is it? So here is uh, our money from the um, 1,000 real note and up to uh, 100 real note. This one we use it for exchange that uh, when people come here, the most of the most of them they don't have small, uh, small note. That's why they come to exchange and it is one of the popular business for her as well. And it is really good and it is one of the very important part of our culture here as well. So you will find out at the Pagoda or any other uh, attraction place or when people want to offer or want to pray something they always uh, exchange the money from big note to small note and usually they charge 20% yeah how yeah. 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 uh, can you Okay, so hi everyone. So I'm here and I would like to ask the, the old man who working and uh, take uh, take care and look after the ceremony here. So uh, you will know well and detail from him, right? So now I'm going to speak my, then I will translate for you all. Yeah. So okay, there are five steps of the ceremony. So first, um, all the teenagers and they come here like as you see. They come here and they brought the rice bowl. So uh, like this, and then soon uh, the monk will come and sit there. Yeah, and after that, uh, monk will give like chanting to all to all of them. And then uh, after that. The old man, they will ask all the people 
uh, stand over there as a gathering over there you will see and and later the last one uh, people they will walk around the pavilions and through the rice bowl that is the final step yeah so you will see for detail yeah after for uh, bought by burn ceremony and for inside the hall inside over there that is for um, the normal time that our people and everyone come to pagoda and offer the food dessert and with flower anything to the to the, to the monk and dedicate to their ancestors A rice bowl. You can see it's very beautiful design. So let me tell you what's inside. So there is a orchidea flower with two color and candle, a coconut, sesame, and a sticky rice bowl, and decorate and wrap with the green leaf. And very beautiful. I'm really admire the sister that she can make it very pretty. So. And inside around, this is a um, fruit. She also put fruit. So you can see how yummy, <laughs> how yummy it is. Yeah, and very beautiful. And this is uh, one of uh, the symbol or the spirit. Yeah, or the spirit. So as you can see, in each in each uh, rice bowl, they put this one. Yeah. And by the way, this one very uh, interesting one and really beautiful. I really like it. And so this one people prepare it in the evening before they go to bed and then in the early morning they just wake up, refresh, make up and then come here. <laughs> yep. Putting the candles as you can see here. Where are we going? Wow. Around the pagoda. Wow. So we're going around the whole pagoda, right? Yes. yes. Wow. Why are you putting fruit? Because uh, this is a kind of like decoration, make it look nice and it is tasty, yummy, I think. <laughs> so it's like fruit. Sticky rice. Sticky rice with, with sesame, coconut. And what, why do you put the water? Water, we usually eat anything we need water, so them also. Great, yes. Why do you put the water? Um, that is we dedicate the rice fruit to the spirit, and when they eat, they need water also. Okay, yes. interesting. gonna happen now so next is uh, one of the stuff here you can see mm, it's, a, it's a part of this ceremony we call um, food phnom ksach that's in my language and it means that we build the sand mountain so 
come here, you can see this is set prepared by the people here. And then uh, the sign comes in, the set, and, and then they, they go inside. Yes, they go inside. So they put the sand around, like represent for the mountain, but it's not real, right? So now we are here. As you can see, uh, monks are having breakfast now. It's uh, uh, 6.40 a.m. And you can see like a uh, boat style uh, thing that they keep all the food and then the monks take the rice and eat. And today is special because uh, the wife of the Prime Minister of Cambodia is also coming. So they're preparing themselves for the big occasion.